back to our channel. It's to forget, still thinking about how we met. Yeah, hey guys, welcome back. Hello. Thanks for joining us here at the Castaway Couple. Now, first off, we are just one week away. One week. One. One, two, one week away. From our trip to the Philippines to finally after all this time, see our nearly finished, I guess you could call almost. it. Yeah, almost finished house, and we are beyond excited. But today, I want to share something very special and a cool little project that's pretty close to our hearts, specifically for this home. So this little project that I'm working on at the moment, right before we leave, these letters symbolize more than just our names or the initials for our first names. What they really represent is the love, the dreams, and ultimately the hard work that we have poured into building our life together. You know, and Jan and I have been dreaming of this very moment for many, many years now. And ever since that fateful day of our wedding, Cause I'm with you now You and me, we know that love is in the air Like the wind blowing through your hair years ago the day that I married the most amazing most kind-hearted gentle souled woman on the face of the earth and I couldn't be more grateful to God that I met her and that she's a part of my life now since that day not everything has been sunshine and roses like in every marriage you know we faced our countless challenges made a lot of sacrifices throughout our journey um, and all in this great hope of creating a home a future and a life where we can truly find happiness. Now, as many of you know by now, and as per the entire theme of this channel, we've always craved a life that is more fulfilling than just the daily grind of, for lack of a better term, corporate slavery, that everyone so passively seems to accept as holy gospel. And ultimately, this home represents our freedom, and most importantly, our brand new beginning. So it's not about saying and throwing our perspective upon anyone that the West is all wrong or that our way is the only way to find fulfillment, joy or happiness. You know, life isn't as black and white as that, but it's crucial to understand that there are alternative ways to live. And to us, that means a life free from the corporate grind, from the routine of every day, the so-called nine to five, where you're just endlessly feeding a machine that takes everything and gives very little back. That's why today, this video is meant to try to empower you and to remind you that you have choices. You are a being that has the power to change your circumstances. So the thing I find to be the most toxic influence we face in the Western centric worldview is that we prioritize logic and materialism all the time. You know, it's, it's this kind of societal sickness that's driven by wealth, greed and power, often at the expense of our humanity. Right, And this mindset literally leaves no room for compassion or creativity or any quality that you would basically deem to be human. So um, I think it's precisely these qualities, our intrinsic emotional drives that fuel our greatest achievements. So our move to the Philippines, this huge redirection, is born from such a place. It is literally the manifestation of our, our deepest desires and especially our love for one another turning our dreams into hopefully a reality. So what's our message? What are we trying to say here? Um, if you have something in your heart, something that truly fulfills you, stop suppressing it. Take the first step. We did. It is scary at the beginning because of the uncertainties. The, the dream starts from there. Like we didn't know how will we ever put up a house in there. We were like, I mean, you were just starting your career back in Australia. <laughs> Barely even, yeah. And I don't have a job yet in Australia because yet I have to move, yeah, with you in Australia. Mm. We didn't know how we ever get the money for that house. And then COVID thing happened. And then our dreams starting to blur because COVID thing happened. So it's quite uncertain, but still because um, of his love, labor of love again, like he said like oh we have to start building a house in the philippines because what are we going to do with a block of land there and it's it's like his his idea his perspective in life is to live 
in a home where it's sustainable, where there is no mortgage, where he can fully, where we can fully own it, not owned by the bank, and then where we can manage our time, where we can be free from from any nine to five grind. Mm. I mean, we still need to earn, but God knows how we're gonna do it in the Philippines. I think it will still just be put into place once we get there. Like everything Same else thing as been. when we, after we got married or after we moved to another state, everything just comes to fall into place. Mm. Mm, we couldn't imagine how it happened, but I think, yeah, we'll just have to ride along the journey and find out what's at the other end. And no matter what it will be on the other end or what, no matter what it will happen along the way, so we still have together. to stick to each other. Yeah. It's the love. Yes, and it's also a struggle, and I won't sugarcoat it. From backlash to ridicule, to the challenges of building our house both financially and logistically, getting married, filing for visas, finding jobs to support our lives and our dreams, etc. It hasn't been easy, and I think most people can attest to that in their everyday lives, but that's how you know that it's worth it. When you fight and you struggle for something with all your heart and no setback or no delay seems to deviate you from your intended path. So now guys, just take a look at our journey. We started with an idea driven from a position of love and now we're finally seeing it come to life. Now it's not about, it's not about conforming to societal expectations or superficial dreams or ideals. It's about pursuing what genuinely makes you happy and of course your partner has to be on board. Now for all my boys out there, fellas, come to Uncle Dan for a little education. Class is in session. Finding a good wife and I mean a, a woman that you truly, truly love and listening to her feelings and opinions is fucking paramount, okay? Look, women, from what I've learned, have a natural attunement to the flow of nature and if you follow that, everything you touch will turn to gold, right? I've had my own ideas and made mistakes in certain facets and endeavors in life, be whatever they may, and you can vouch for that. By not listening to Jan, most of the time I only realized that she was right. So I'm telling you, listen to your wives and your successes will multiply. The universe flows along the path of least resistance, right? Everything falls into place naturally. Just like in the natural world, you just look around until we, the world of men, decide to mess with it. Whereas women, women have a unique connection to this natural flow and embracing it will bring blessings to your life. Trust me. But anyway, guys, I digress. Forgive me. Um, back to what we were talking about. The house, right? Building this house has truly been a labor of love. Every hollow block, every nail, and every bit of effort has been infused with our dreams and our hopes for a better life, which is all any partnership wants. It hasn't been easy at all, but we've persevered because we believe in this dream. And belief is the root of everything, right? And now, as we prepare to move into this beautiful home that we've created, which is still a while away, um, hopefully sooner rather than later, there's one more dream that we're hoping to achieve, and that is starting a family. Mm. So one final project, guys, and we hope to <laughs> welcome a new life, and sorry, and we, and we hope to welcome a new life into our home as soon as we can. So everyone, your prayers and your hopes for us will be greatly appreciated to help make this happen. Look, this journey has been filled with ups and downs, but throughout it all, we've held on to our vision, and most of all, we've held on to our love for each other. And we really hope that our story inspires you to chase your dreams, no matter how big or small they might be. Guys, life really is too short to settle for anything less than what makes you truly happy. So today, we just really wanted to say thank you for being a part of our journey and for your unwavering support. We're so grateful to have you with us every step of the way and stay tuned for our trip to the Philippines next week because we cannot wait to share all of it with you. I don't know how we formulated, how he formulated to put a label of this home. Like he was starting thinking, um, we, we, don't have, we don't have a street number, we don't have a home number or block of land number because this block of land was just very fresh, newly. It's not even 
a subdivision yet because it's this it's a subdivision but no one else has built no one the is first building there, along so. this um this line of block of land that there are owners already but they didn't build anything yet there's a couple of new houses but they're a little bit further down further you can down, see yeah. them from our house but not probably it's like a good maybe five six hundred meters down mm. the road yes there is no street number or, or, or any like sort of specific uh, location it's just like barangay blah 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 are there really any street numbers like in the provinces in philippines or not really is it just because i've never mm. seen i don't know how it works to be honest yeah and then um i don't know but you came up to this idea that you would just put like should i say it now the name casa del amor it's just like he wants to uh, call it like out of love or something that represents us something that represents our love for each other the title of the video the harm that love built yes that's the one but we made it sound like um, spanish spanish so it's a bit cheesy and corny like but it's our house so <laughs> it's our house get out, so. like it, get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's um it's a really nice um name i'm excited to see it i'm excited when he puts up the uh, name on the house when we get it. there yeah so um quite exciting it is exciting. exciting times so we're gonna see you there guys drop your comments in the comments section below um if you have any questions or what do you guys think of our sign is it a bit cheesy is it gonna Sorry. look good <laughs> Either way, it's going on. And if you don't like it, you get the fuck out. So <laughs> we're going to be installing it, but yeah, it'll it'll just give it a bit of extra artistic flair, I mm. suppose, and a way to identify the house and where we live, I suppose. And it's very personal to us. And since the Philippines does have a lot of Spanish influence, it to me kind of made sense to put it in Spanish. And casa just sounds cool. I like that casa. <laughs> oh, no, it's just my casa, mi casa, su casa. <laughs> That's Italian, but you get the gist. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us, and we really can't wait to continue this adventure together with everybody. Until next time, this is the Castaway Couple, signing off. <laughs>